Hey, it's Mike at Infinity RFID again. And today I'm gonna to show you how to install a headlamp mount RFID tag. Uh, for this case, I'm gonna show you how to install an SG HMT002 Agena headlamp ta mount tag to this uh, late model Ram 1500. Take a look at where the um, RFID tag reader is mounted in the roadway. So if the RFID deck reader is on the driver's side, meaning when you drive up to the, the gate, it's on the right, I'm sorry, the left, then you wanna mount the tag on the same side as the RFID reader. So in this case, we're gonna assume that the, the reader is on the left side, we're gonna mount it on the driver's side of the headlamp, that way they're meeting together. Once you've done that, get out tape measure. And this time we're gonna take a look at where, you know, where's our, where are our options? Where can we mount the tag on it without having you know, a chance of interference? So with the tape measure, you wanna make sure that you have clearance that's two and a half inches or two inches from the hood, metal, metal hood. So at least two inches and probably actually measure from the outside because this metal, this metal trim, this metal foil here will also interfere with the tag. So make sure it's two inches from the metal foil. So which will put you about, about here. Same thing with the side. You want to make sure that you're two inches, at least two inches away from the side. So here's the two inches. So anywhere here is good. And the same thing with the other side. And then from the bottom, you want to make sure that the bottom is three and a half inches. So you foil down there, three and a half inches right here. So somewhere in this quadrant right here is going to be the spot that I'm going to put this tag. And the surface you're going to put it on. So I would recommend using something mild like uh, Windex and then use a microfiber towel. So go ahead and saturate the area. And then when that, uh, that area is good, go ahead and start cleaning the surface. You want to get any contaminants, you want to get any type of bug guts, you want it, anything that might be between the adhesive of the tag and the headlamp, you want to remove all of that. And that way you get a good, good bond between the adhesive and the, and the headlamp. Now that's clean, now we know which side of the, the vehicle we're gonna put it on. Now we know the, kind of the area. You take your tag and you don't actually have to mount the tag to the vehicle in order to test it. You could take some low tack tape, such as painter's tape, or in my case, masking tape. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead, take a piece off, and we're gonna temporarily mount this tag to the vehicle. So I'm gonna say that we're gonna put this tag right here. So what I can do is I can go ahead and with this low tack tape, mount, this tag to, to the vehicle. Smooth it out, the edges. All right, and now, now what's on the surface is gonna be uh, where I intend to put it and we can test it. So at this point you would take the vehicle and if you could drive it to the gate and the RFID reader, make sure that it reads, make sure that the gate opens or, or at least the reader acknowledges the tag. And that would give you a good idea of whether it's gonna work there or not. Um, if you're lucky enough, you will can have a handheld RFID reader, which is what I've got here. This actually, this, this one will read as, as strongly as the, the, the reader that would be at a, at a gate. So anywhere from 20 to 25 feet is what I'd see with this. So what I would do is I would take a handheld reader after I've mounted temporarily, take it, try to read the tag, pretend that I'm out 20 feet from the, from the, from the reader, and I start walking towards it and see where I read. If, uh, if I'm reading somewhere in the distance of 20 to 25, 30 feet, great, we're in a great spot. If I'm down in the five foot or less range, then there's definitely a problem with where I've temporarily mounted the tag. I might be too close to the hood, I might be too close to one of the reflectors in the back. Um, the great thing about using the masking tape is you're not burning up a tag, you can just basically peel this down, move it again, and uh, retest. So luckily, this is a good spot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off this temporary masking tape. Let's see, low tack, doesn't, doesn't stick. The tag doesn't stick to the headlamp. I'm gonna take the tag off of the liner. And be careful when you do this. Um, the adhesive that we use here is a special adhesive and the, the base of the break and removal feature has the antenna of the tag embedded in the adhesive. So if you disturb the adhesive too much, you'll break the tag and the tag will, will not function very well. So what you wanna do is you actually wanna peel the liner away from the RFID tag. So see how I'm pulling that away? You want 
to not bend the RFID tag more than you know 30 degrees or so. You don't want to definitely do not want to crease it. So once it's off there, you can go ahead and take that that tag, put it on the, the area that you want to you want to install it, right there. Get it on the vehicle, and then with your finger, smooth all the adhesive out. Go ahead and you can retest it again, drive it through the gate, or if you have a handheld reader, go ahead and test it. Everything looks good. Give it about, give it about any, anywhere from 12 to 24 hours to cure for the adhesive to cure. And then you can go car wash or wash the car or do whatever you want to do. Um, Cause at that point, the adhesive is, is set up and is permanently adhered to your head map.